Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to show you how I set up for a bath or shower to make it a wonderful experience. And this video was brought to you by Brooklinen. If you're a parent and you have kids, especially if you're a mom, I think a lot of moms uh, can relate to this feeling of not being able to have real alone time and not having it often. But the bath, like being able to go into the bathroom is one of the places for moms where they very legitimately can be alone. I mean, they can say to the kids, mommy's taking a bath, mommy's taking a shower, and the kids are fine, knowing mommy's going to be gone for a little while. That's moms, but being alone in the bathroom, I think, is something that we can all relate to. There is a sense of peace and solitude that takes place in a bathroom. Because of that, I have figured out a way to make the bathroom a place where you're really at peace. The first thing about creating an environment in the bathroom that sets the stage for feeling ah is it has to be clean. Clean the bathroom. Clean it so that it's a holy space. Every bit of dirt, dust, mildew, grime, you get rid of that. Especially if you're setting up for a bath. If you're going to fill the bath with water and you're going to sit in it, I believe that the bath tub has to be super, super clean. Number two, have the space free of clutter, especially if it's a small bathroom. You might not realize that every single time your eyes move over a space, even though you're not dwelling on the things you see, you are subconsciously seeing those things. My philosophy is that if you want to lead a more beautiful life, try to create every frame of vision every day to be something that's closer to a piece of artwork that you would enjoy looking at. And you can do that. But in order to do that, you have to edit. And you, have, you actually have to curate your everyday life. And when you ask yourself, do I like looking at the shower stall or the bathtub with all those plastic bottles on it, more often than not, the answer is going to be no. And the, the reasoning will be, well, I have that out there because I use that stuff, especially when there's a lot of that stuff. Put it away. Put it away and you will find the joy that you get from looking at a completely clear space around the shower and the bathtub, which is also much easier to clean. But the joy that comes from your eyes just seamlessly, uninterrupted, moving from one end of the bathroom to the other without any plastic bottles, that joy is worth the effort that you need to take to pull out the bottles when you're taking a bath or shower. I've been doing it now for over six years and I'll never go back. It's totally worth it for me. You use your towel almost every single day so it's totally worthwhile to invest in something that's really good quality, that's well made, and that's going to last. When I was making pottery in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, I happened to stop in on a store and was very impressed with all their sheets and towels. And I've been partnering with them for about a year now. Brooklinen, everything is such high quality, so well made, and so made with care and thought. They have colored towels, they have patterned towels, and you can mix and match and create a bundle to have towels that are not all the same, but that are coordinated in the bathroom. Brooklinen also makes different kinds of towels in different weights, and I love that. I have these wonderful, they're called super plush towels from Brooklinen. They're, they're very luxurious, very thick and absorbent, and these towels are the 
towels that I put out when people are actually visiting. So the super plush towels are what I give guests as bath towels when they're staying over. They are what I put out on the towel rack as hand towels when I'm having a party, when people are just over for the evening. And when I'm here by myself, I use either these waffle towels from Brooklinen or the ultra light towels. The thing about these ultra light towels, which are a lot thinner than the plush towels, is that they dry very quickly. So I like using these when I'm just here by myself, because I'll take a shower or a bath, dry myself off on this towel, and then I'll hang it up and it dries really quickly. The same with these waffle towels. They're super thin, but they're also very absorbent, especially if you live in a damp place or you have a small bathroom with little ventilation. Having lightweight towels is great because they'll dry faster and there's less chance that they'll start to smell or get moldy. These towels are made with long staple cotton, which means that the actual fibers of cotton are long fibers. And what that means, ultimately, is that the towels are gonna last much longer than something that's cheaply made. The way I like setting up the area for the bath is, okay, there's nothing out there now, put one or two things out. And put one or two things out that are useful, but that are also beautiful to see. For me, these things can actually live out there. Some people might say, I have a soap dish problem. <laughs> so here are some of the soap dishes that I have picked up over the years when I'm antiquing or when I'm at a thrift store, all of these are old. They're all ironstone, I think. And then here's a bar of soap. And then look, just look how beautiful this looks. Like just the bar of soap in the soap dish. So kind of old world, old fashioned. It looks r rustic and there's a charm to that. And then I like to get like a brush or a sponge and here's, here's a brush from Brooklinen. And even just this, like, sitting in a soap dish, this, or this, I would say, is totally worthy of sitting out permanently by the shower or on the bathtub. Because it looks beautiful, and you can use it as well while you're showering or taking a bath. Next is something that my friend Alexandra shared with me because she said, Robbie, she calls me Robbie, Robbie, guess what? Guess what all the fancy ladies are doing? I've been reading about it. They take eucalyptus. Do you know about this? I think it comes from Mexico. They take eucalyptus and you hang it on the shower head. So all of this stuff applies not just to setting up for an actual bath, but also the shower. And that shower, even though the shower might be just five minutes, if you're a really busy person, if you're running around all the time, if you have kids, the shower can be sometimes the only place where you have that peace and you have the opportunity to couple something that's a must, like you have to take a shower, with caring for yourself and, and indulging for just five minutes. And I promise you, those five minutes every day, they add up. They add up to a feeling of rejuvenating your life. So eucalyptus, the way to do this, and I've been doing this for a couple of months now, and it is so nice. You take your eucalyptus. So I have eucalyptus here. There are different kinds of eucalyptus. This is fresh eucalyptus from the grocery store. It's often there, and I often buy it just as a filler for flower arrangements, but there's different kinds of eucalyptus. So this is eucalyptus, this is one variety, but this broad flat leaf is also eucalyptus. You get your eucalyptus and before you actually hang it over the shower head, you get a rolling pin and to release the essential oils in here, just bang it. Mm. Oh, it smells really, like I can really smell this. 
and then using the actual branches of the eucalyptus, you hang this over the shower head. And as the hot water falls, it actually falls through the eucalyptus leaves and creates this beautiful smell while you're taking a shower. Who knew? I didn't, Alexandra had to tell me. But when the eucalyptus dries, it's not over. Like you can splash hot water on the eucalyptus and it'll revive it and it'll continue to smell. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I love doing this so much. Adds such a, such a wonderful facet to taking a shower. Here are some beeswax candles that I made, not from dipping, but from pouring the wax into a mold. And these are pillar candles. And I love lighting pillar candles in the bathroom. Even if it's during the day, I light a candle and there's something about seeing that flame in the bathroom while I'm having a shower that is comforting. I don't take a bath very often, but when I do, I find it gets boring very quickly, <laughs> like sitting in the bathtub. So I've learned taking my laptop in and watching a TV show or watching a movie or even taking a book into the bath is something that has added to being able to stay in there longer. You know, you fill the bathtub with hot water, you sit in there for a few minutes, and after a few minutes, sometimes I'm like, okay, now what? But having a show to watch or a movie to watch or having a book in there is like, that's when it turns into a kind of luxury for me. There you have it. My personal setup for making bath time or shower time, however short it is, a place where you can really find some peace and be rejuvenated. This video was brought to you by Brooklyn, and if you would like to purchase some of these beautiful towels, please check out the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.